How are you mga kahabhab? Uh, actually, I set up this one kay Marag. Nag-start naman yun ang full swing na class no for online classes. And uh, it's nice na kami ng mga teachers or mga professor should have a mini office at home so that we could really have a working place here in our uh, home as well. Pero tonight, uh, I'll be discussing a very important thing specifically uh, we are experiencing pandemic not only in Philippines but the entire world no, that's why I would like to discuss which is part of my subject in the graduate school in Corheso College which is what we call local economic enterprise uh, what is really uh, economic enterprise? Uh, actually, it is uh, already a, a manual no? uh, developed uh, from the support of European Union, which is also anchored from the DALG in our uh, local government unit. That is why uh, under Public Act 7160, which is commonly co uh, known as our uh, local government code, no? now, it is mandated as a primary operating principle of decentralization no? to establish a countable, efficient, and dynamic organizational structure and operating mechanism on local government unit that will what? that will priority the needs priority needs and services required requirement of its community that is why if you if you would observe that local economic enterprise is very essential nowadays if you would observe that there is already a a boundary lockdown for each provinces for each municipalities if our municipality itself our city or our province doesn't have that enough economic enterprises then where does it lead now no so the question here is Saan ba talaga papunta? Or, what is really local economic enterprise? No? NEES are ventures wholly on what? On part partially owned by LGU that generate revenue or income. Take nota, revenue or income. What is that on our local government code? Income is what? As referring gross at accretions of funds in LGU under section 306 letter I and revenue as referring to income derived from the regular system of taxation enforced under authority of law or ordinance and as such occur more or less regularly every year that is under section 306 letter M so, however, uses revenue and income interchangeably. So, pwede sila may interchange depending on the what? The types of income realized from the operation and activities of the LGU or are received by its exercise and in its cor corporate function. So, yun ang sinasabi. What are our local economic enterprise should be? No? Pwede ba magkaroon ng local economic enterprise ang barangay, ang purok, ang municipality, ang city, ang province? Then let's go into that perspective now. Okay, so going back to that statement, so can the purok, the barangay, the municipality, provinces, even region, cities can make their own different local, local economic enterprise? So based on the manual, no, for municipality, this could be their possible local economic enterprise. They could have an extension or on-site research services and facilities related to, to what? First, they could have agriculture and fishery activities, which include dispersal, livestock, and poultry, fingerlings and other seedling materials for aquaculture we could even have palay we could even have corn vegetables 
seeds, seed farms, medicinal plant garden, fruit trees, coconut, and other seedling nurseries, demonstration farms, quality control, copra, and improvement and development of local distribution channel, preferably through cooperative. See, they could even have cooperative and they could have inter barangay irrigation system, water and soil resource utilization and conservation project, and enforcement of fishery laws, municipal water including the conservation of mangroves. Mangroves, take note of that. So, also in pursuant to the DNR, no? So, implementation of such you know, communal forest with areas exceeding to 50 square kilometer. So, establishment of three parks, green belts, similar forest development projects. So, those are also included. Also, on the provision of Title 5 of Book 1 of this code, health services could also be included in the municipality level in which it includes implementation of pro programs and projects on primary health care, mental and child care, communicable and non-communicable diseases. So, pasok dito si COVID. Access to secondary and tertiary health services. Pursuant a purchase of medicine, medical supplies, and equipments needed to carry out the services herein enumerated. We could even have social work services for our municipal level, which includes what? Programs and projects on child and youth welfare, family and community welfare, women welfare, welfare for elderly and disabled persons, community disabled rehabilitation program for vagrants, beggars, street children, scavengers, juvenile delinquents, victims of drug abuse, livelihood, and other pro-porn, pro-poor, pro-poor projects, nutrition services, and family planning services. It is also included, we have the information services. Haven't you know that? This post, uh, we have including investment and job placement information system tax and marketing information system, and maintenance of public library. See? We even have solid waste disposal system or environmental management system and services or facilities related to general hygiene and sanitation. See? Pasok pa rin si COVID. We even have municipal buildings like cultural centers, public parks including freedom parks, playgrounds, and sport facilities, and environment and other similar facilities. And mostly, we have infrastructure facilities intended primarily to service the, needed, the needs of residents of the municipality which are funded out of, ito ang, naka, ang very interesting, funding out of what? Municipal fund including but not okay but not limited to municipal roads and bridges school buildings and other facilities for public elementary and secondary school we could even have clinics health services communal irrigation small water impounding projects and other similar projects fish ports are considered arterial wells, spring development, rain water protectors, and water supply system. We could even have seawalls, dikes, drainage and sewerage, and food control, traffic signals, and road signals, and similar facilities. Public market are also considered in the municipal level, slaughterhouses, and other municipal enterprises. Public cemetery is also included. Tourism facilities and other tourist attraction, including acquisition and of equipment, regulation and supervision of what? Business concessions, 
service security services for such facilities. So those are included. And also, we could also have the site for police and fire stations and substations and the municipal chain. See, if we just look at that one, on the municipal level pa lang, mga kahabab, there is already a very huge level of economic enterprise that can be utilized by the municipality. Okay? So now let's proceed to what? To the next level, which is what? Our provincial level. Since we are done with our municipal level, the question now here is, what is now the level or what are the economic enterprises of our provincial level? So, ano bang pinagkaiba ni municipal sa provincial? Of course, there is because the provincial hold the entire different municipalities under them. So, what could be the first possible LEE for the provincial level? We still have the agricultural extension, same on-site research services, facilities which include the prevention. Ito, nandito ngayon sa kay province, prevention and control of plant and animal pests and diseases. Dairy farms, livestock market, animal breeding stations, and artificial insemination center, and assistance in the organization of farmers, fishermen's cooperative, and other collective organization, as well as the transfer of appropriate technology. If you look at on that level, si province, hawak niya ang iba't ibang municipality. So he should be, or they should be, the breeding site so that, they ba, masabi kanina, insemination center, sila yung nagbe-breed to be distributed to different levels of municipality. And the function of the municipality is also to propagate those breeds na binigay ng provinces. Dapat. And supposedly. Also, what would be the other one? No? So, also again, pursuant to the DNR, no enforcement of forestry law. Importante yung forestry law natin. No? So, also community-based forestry projects. Pollution control law. Ito, pollution small-scale mining law mm, province other law on protection of the environment and mini hydroelectric projects for local purposes this is a 2016 manual and we are now on year 2020 so pwede din natin ipasok dito yung tinatawag natin na solar energy no? so also so pursuant also to the book 5 Title, uh, title of book one of this code, no? so health, same, but we could have hospital and other tertiary hospital services. Ito din ang maganda sa province. With regards to social welfare, services include programs and projects on, on, listen, rebel returnees and evacuees, relief operations, and population development services. We even have provincial buildings, provincial jail, freedom parks, and other public assembly areas and other similar facilities. With regards to infrastructure, no, they would serve also as what we call funded out, providing funding including but not limited to, not limited to same provincial road and bridges, intermunicipal water works, drainage and sewerage, food control, irrigation system, reclamation projects, and similar projects. Also, in our province, ito ang mabigat. Programs and projects for low-cost housing and other mass dwelling. Imagine, sa province yan. Program and project for low-cost housing and other mass dwelling except those funded by the social security system or SSS and also by the government service insurance system which is our GSIS and the home development mutual funds or our H HDMF 
provided that national funds of this program and project shall be equitably allocated among the regions in the proportion of the ratio of the homeless to the population. No? So, pwede siya sa dwelling place except yung sa tatlo SSS, GSIS, HDMF. Also, we have investment support services including access to credit financing. Pwede magpautang si province. We have also upgrading of modernizing of tax information and collection services through the use of computer hardware and software of the means. We have also intermunicipal telecommunication services subject to national policy guidelines and this is also very important for the province to reason development and promotion program. So we are done with the municipality and we're done with the province. Ano kaya, what would be the city with regards to local economic enterprise? Okay, let's proceed then. Okay, let's proceed then for what are local economic enterprise for the city. Actually, all services and facilities of municipality and provinces are somewhat the same with the city. So, pwede niya. So, also, they have this adequate communication and transportation facilities for the city, support for education, police and fire services, and facilities. Also, to ensure the active participation of the private sector in local governance, local government unit may, by ordinance, sell, list, encumber, and other dispose of public economic enterprise owned by them in their proprietary capacity. Pero, under Section 17, letter B, number 2 of the Local Government Code notes, and other, in the phrase, public markets, slaughterhouses, and other municipal enterprises. Also, in Section 17, letter J, allows the cost, what? To be charged for delivery of these services and facilities this connote that what all other lgu services and facilities in the list under section 17 letter b states that what can be considered as economic enterprise provided they they generate income or revenue so Pero under section 13 of uh, 313 and 325 letter A of the local government mention public utility or PUS separate from economic enterprise and other enterprises. Why is it so? Na bakit ang PUS natin or public utility are not included in our economic enterprises? But are given the same treatment in this section. On what perspective? This indicates that PU are classified as economic enterprise in so far as accounting and budgeting for these ent entities are concerned. However, so paano? The fact that public utilities are what? Are named different and not lumped together with other economic enterprises connotes that the former shall be given a different treatment. So what does it mean? This implies that what? PUS due to their nature no, on the item 1.3.1 of this manual may be allowed to operate even they what? They may not earn enough income to cover their operation. So, this is in contrast to other LEE because, di ba, we have to consider that we have got enough income and revenue except to earn profit or least recover costs. So, what is PUI or P, uh, PU, PU or PUS? Are enterprise which are created by what? By what? Local sanggunian 
through an ordinance for the purpose of what? Providing an everyday basic necessity or services to the general public which otherwise cannot be provided adequately by the private sector. So, these LGU PUs shall be limited to what? Operate water supply system not yet taken over the local water utility administration. Power supply and distribution. So that is why si PU is part of economic enterprise pero pwede siya is separate because yung sabi nga local sanggunian ang nag-create sa kanya kasi hindi naman ma-provide lahat ng private sector. Also, in our city, we could have telecommunication. We have sanitation, local drainage, sewerage, same pa rin siya, water, water, solid waste collection, and disposal. We have public transportation, transport terminals, bus, jeep, parking, and everything. So, what are others? Now, napunta yung ginatawag na OEES, or what we call other economic enterprises. No? So, which are also created by our SB or Sangguniang Bayad. No? So, sila or local Sangguniang natin. Those are what? Public market and shopping centers. Louter houses, livestock, uh, trading and animal racing. We have also fish landing. Fish landing is also very important ice plants and cold storage facilities post harvest facilities grain storage drying milling commercial retail and office spaces mm. public market sports and recreation facilities public cemeteries local hospitals and local colleges see local colleges is part of economic enterprise so, what is the role of LEE in LGU development? No? So, ano ba ang role ng local economic enterprise in LGU development? So, first, provide wider access to goods, services with pricing that is affordable and largely segment of local government unit population. Be a means of augment LGU revenues. See? Augment. Ibig sabihin, LAA could help with regards to finances. That is why local government unit create LEEs. Attract investors by providing key services not provided by private sectors. Therefore, the LAA are mode by which LGU deliver goods and services to promote public welfare. Ulitin ko, the local economic enterprise services are mode by which an LGU delivers goods and other services to provide public welfare. However, when such goods and services are already being adequately provided by the private sector, now the LGU concern shall consider scaling down the LEE operation. Now that is why, if you would observe, would there be a private company that having slaughterhouses, cemeteries? Except like, yeah, cemeteries like memorial parks. But we have also our uh, public cemetery because it could not be accommodated by one cemetery alone no? so in the development of its communities the LGU shall not compete with but instead complement the private sector again LGU shall not compete but instead complement private sectors that's how good local economic enterprise is. Intro pa lang tayo. So what's the next that we have to discuss? Yung tinatawag natin na policy framework. What is policy framework? This is what we call legalities. 
of our LEDs. Now, so this is this would serve as a basis and creation and operation of the LED. So first, what? It emphasizes the responsibility of the LGU to set up an appropriate service delivery structure, mechanism to meet the basic needs. Another, Section 3, there shall be established in every local government unit an accountable, efficient, and dynamic organizational structure. Also, this is an inter-LGU partnership. Also, local government unit may provide themselves, consolidate, or coordinate their effort, services, resources, commonly beneficial to them. Participate in what? Participation of the private sector in local governance. Public consultation. And also, lay down the basic function of LGU. Including what? Political subdivision of the national government of the Philippines. Corporate body representing its constituency. No? As corporate body, it can con un undertake business enterprises as a mode of what? Production and delivery of the goods and services to its constituents. Political and corporate nature of local government unit. Diba? Because we know that the government is considered as political and corporate. We know that. And also what? Local government unit shall endeavor to be self-reliant and shall continue exercising what? The power and discharging the duties and functions currently vested upon them. This is nice in section 17. Further empowers the LGU to send, list, encumber, or dispose of economic enterprises to the private sector. So, pwede siya i-list sa private sector. It also provides what? Of various forms of private sector's participation in LEEs as creditor or investors. So, those are the things that we have to consider. So the question is, with regards to the introduction into the framework, the first question here is what? Can the LGU itself has the capacity in crafting a political a policy framework in lieu with a different proposed local economic enterprise. What do you think? Can you comment below? So, and what are your perspective about that one? So, after showing the introduction, uh, presenting the introduction and the framework, I'll be showing you the process flow of what we call our local economic enterprise. Okay? So let's watch this. Okay, this is what I'm telling that uh, I'll be showing you upon setting up and operation of our local economic enterprises. If you look at the number one, uh, that is the introduction, as what I mentioned a while ago, the possible uh, local economic enterprises that can be uh, done or can be created based on our municipality, provinces, and cities. After then, if we have those possible projects, we go now to our policy framework. What are the clause? What are the conditions on such different uh, projects that we wanted to create or our local economic enterprises at what I mentioned a while ago again with the policy framework? Then, we should have to be defining an effective LEE. What are those things that we could say that we are very effective? with regards to our local economic enterprises. After then, we should proceed with our number four, which is the planning implementation for the new LEE. What is this? But if you would observe, there is this straight red line towards the other side 
these are the things that you have to consider first upon planning and implementation a new LEE. You have to do what? First, you have to evaluate your local government unit. Second, you have to conduct what? Feasibility study. Third, assess sources. Do you have that sources? Sec uh, fourth, you have to select fin uh, fi uh, finance sources. Another, you have to what? Prepare your five years development plan or proposed uh, FS. And then present proposal for enactment of what? Yung sinasabi natin na sangguni ang bayad. And then, if we go down, we have the implementation for existing LEE. But there is also this line going down. What are those? You have to what? Continuation of LEE with necessary changes. Kung may kailangan pa ba change Second is you have to staffing transition strategy and you have your five years business plan along with what? Presentation to LCE or your local chief executive. Then here comes now the budgeting as one of the very crucial, meron siyang mataas na line. We have below yung violet natin, we have the pre-budget, budget preparation, budget authorization, budget review, budget execution, budget accountability. Whoa! And then we have our review and assessment, which is number seven, which is having a assessment self-sufficiency self not achieved and then we have the effective lee and then those are the things that we have to do attached with different appendices under lee then at the end of this presentation i'll be showing you the different appendices that you will be using so since we're done with the uh, overflow process, let's now deeply understand each part of the process. So if you look at the diagram beside me, this is the process flow of LGU on decision making if they would proceed with the LED or creation of LED or not. So they have the step or criteria and then along with we have the service del delivery mode. So let's start with the project proposal. So what's the criteria? So formal project proposal supported by project brief and prescribed in both P, uh, PDIP or uh, Provincial Development Investment Plan so as with LDIP or Local Development Investment Plan. Afterwards, if that is aligned, let's proceed to our CR1 which is Bihardel Criterion 1. Does the project satisfy both the economic and social objective of the LGU reflected on the PDF uh, we have the CDP or comprehensive development plan LDIP local development investment plan as well if yes then let's proceed to criterion 2 the question is does the project output fill gaps does it fill gaps in services not adequately provided by the private sector diba? that's what I mentioned a while ago no, does not compete with the private sector. We do not compete, but rather we complement. If no, then LGU should not proceed. Let the private sector do that. But if yes, let's move on with our criterion 3. Can the proposed LEE be operated as business enterprise with its own business plan and budget? If yes, then let's go to hard of four. Criterion four. Can the LA operate with appropriate staff complement to satisfy operating objective? Meron ba tayong enough tao na magtatrabaho dyan? Then, if no, pasok tayo sa PPP. Then let's have look for partnership with other LGUs. And, if yes, then let the plan set up and operate LEE. Then, let's start our documentation and let's proceed with our feasibility studies. Now gets? So now let's proceed with our uh, figure 2 which is the, di ba, tapos na, okay na sila. Mag, nagpahig na sila na mag, 
na proceed yung LAA nila. So now, let's have to conduct feasibility study. Where to start? First is, we have to know what is the market analysis. If you look at in the middle, there is the market analysis. And then there is this branching, which is excess market demand. Meron bang excess sa kanilang demand? And then availability of willingness to pay. Diba? Once we create a market analysis, we should not create a feasibility study knowing that nobody wants to buy. Like example, night market. Gagawa ka ng night market in the middle of a, a, a municipality which is a majority of the community are farmers. And they have the seasonal, seasonal income. Would that be the level of willingness to pay is there? That would be the first question that you have to do. Does everyone have the access? No? They have that access? At the same time, do they have this excess market demand? Do they love that one? Those are the criteria that we have to consider once we make a market analysis. So as the two merge together, they have this market volume and they have this pricing. Here comes now our technical analysis. This is the level in which we have to understand how does the price affect and how does the market volume affect each other. We have just started with the night market. A good example is Rojas night market in here in Davao City. Why is it so that it is very viable for everybody? Because the price is just worthy for its quality and quantity of the food being served. That is why everybody is flocking on that place. Then that is why once they create a technical analysis, here comes now we have to consider the optimum technology, design, and cost for the LA output. What's the cost in creating this? What is the output that we have been expecting out of it? Do we have, if we go lower on that bottom line, do we have that sufficient demand volume? Or baka, gana-gana lang. It's just because, sige, night market, uso yan. E pagpunta doon ng mga tao, the price is not that worthy over their income. Wala. Affordable price, as what I mentioned a while ago. Makamasa ba? And then, adequate cost recovery. Meron ba tayong tinatawag na return of investment? Take note, we are targeting revenue, income. And at the same time, sufficient financial incentive. We are not just targeting the fact that we should have the ROI. It's not the fact that we are targeting revenue. We have stuff to feed. We have stuff to pay. We have that energy cost to be utilized in the offices. Those are the things that you have to consider. Or baka tapado pa ang organization natin. Then, if that's it, then we have the financial and economic sustainability analysis. How can we sustain it? Sustaining it for one week is not enough. That's not sustainability. That is why if you look at the forecasting models, we have even what we call time series analysis. This is a good example. That's why if you have that manager economics or basic economics, you could see the trend, the regression model. How does your model regress? How does your your business regress? That's why we have seasonal product as well. And then that is where economic sustainability enters. That is why we should have a good forecasting to establish a good financial and sustainable analysis. No? financial, economic, sustainable analysis 
anchored in a very good forecasting method. And then we have LEE sustainability. What are the factors that we sustain this one? What give us the, the motive that why we have sustained this project? So, we are still on the level 2 of the process, the feasibility study, which is uh, as what we say in the business plan or project proposal, this is one of the most difficult yet very challenging part of a business process. That is why feasibility study is not that simple. Feasibility study should be very tediously and meticulously being conducted and done. Because at the end of the day, this is your basis for a sustainable project. Okay, so let's proceed to what is the third process that we should be doing. Okay? So, enjoy a feasibility study now. So now let's proceed to the figure 3, which is what we call, this is the process flow diagram for what? For planning and implementing proposed new LEE. So, bago na siya. Propose. So, first is, we have to evaluate whether what? Whether the LGU should engage in LEE. I-evaluate natin ang profile ng local government unit natin. Is the municipality or province or the city is capable enough financially? No? Kasi this is business. May kasaling pera. Or, can we uh, solicit a partnership with our some LGUs or some uh, government unit like for example Department of Agriculture, Department of Environment and Natural Resources if does it fit with their project and their uh, if we are aligned also with them and then after we conduct feasibility study for the proposed new LEE Ito yung, uh, as I could remember when I've been a uh, consultant in one of the municipality, this is one of the most exciting part of creating a LEE because due to overload of work of our uh, employees in the government, let's accept it and then they are, we already practice what we call multitasking and this is very tedious let's accept it feasibility study is not that simple no that is why sometimes it's difficult for a local uh, government unit to establish a LEE because in this level alone there is already difficulty who during been working full time for such uh, project, especially that majority is assigned to different tasks already. Then after we have been doing the the feasibility study, let's ass assess the potential LEE financing sources. So after we created here the what we call our feasibility study, what are the sources? From what source will we get the the money or funding to fully develop or fully create this? Uh, local economic enterprise that we have. And then afterwards, we propose financing sources for the NEE. Uutang uh, ba? Or would there be enough money from the from the municipal development plan? Are we aligned with our municipal development plan or provincial development plan? If we are aligned and our LGU is willing to support, then that could be very good. But if not, then let's look for possible partners, other LGU, or let's look for funding agency. That is where project proposal enters. Then after we present the FS findings and recommended funding source to the LCE. So we will present it to our local chief executive 
if it is amenable to them. But the problem sometimes is that uh, the LEE have difficulty of accepting some LEEs because they presume that it's quite a very tedious work, and which is really true. No, if the LEE decide to create the LEE, then this is the time na another na madugog na level in which we will be creating a five years business plan for each LEE. Jesus Christ. Dito itong madugo gawa ka pa ng FS and then approve ng LEE, then five years. Why five years? Because on the five, first year of our LEE, we are very dependent on our municipal fund, city fund or provincial fund. We are being sustained by those levels. And as we go to our second year and third year, that is the level that we should be independent from them. That is why we should have our own staff, we fund our own staff, and we become a separate body from our LGU. Separate body in such a way that our funds could also be utilized by our local government unit. After we prepare our very good five years development business plan, we have to present to LEE the five years for each LEE. And then as when our LCE is satisfied together with its possible department heads and members of the SB, then prepare the proposal for the establishment of LEE. Yay! Congratulations! Mag-prepare na ta. Including appended FS and business plan. And then present to the local Sangguniang Bayan. I-present na natin sa SB for what? For ordinance. Kasi gawa ng ordinance sa yan. No? Akala nyo, kasi napayagan na. Take note. Our Sangguniang Bayan is our legislative body. They'll be the one to prepare the law. The ordinance sa niya. Then after, we enact the ordinance creating the LED. Then, congratulations. Hanap na naman tayo ng process of sustainability. Okay? Let's proceed. Okay, again. So, Iigan na yun ko sa kuwang buho, pati sa kuwang buho mo at mga kabang. That's why ganyan na yung pagpupit ko kay Murad. Need na mga punjud, no? Kay Murad, I'm already done with my 28 days challenge. So, now let's proceed. So, we have discussed already the figure 3, which is... Sorry for that. So, uh, figure three. Then now let's proceed with our uh, what we call the figure four. So the figure four goes with the process flow diagram, no? Process flow diagram of implementing what existing LEE. So if you look at that one, it detailed personnel are assigned to LEE. So dapat may nakaassign ka na tao na LEE for LEE. And then below that, they have a prepared five year staffing and staffing transition strategy because uh, yung dimension ko nga uh, a while ago uh, yesterday i mean that there is this from the first year uh, our le is very much dependent with the lgu that is why there is this five-year developmental plan right or project proposal so that uh, the transition would be from the first year upon its uh, uh, dependence no no from being from being dependent on the LGU slowly nagiging independent na sila okay then on the other side if no detail personnel assigned to LEE or LEE personnel hired out an LEE budget working full time on LEE so hanap ka ng full time na mag work talaga and then prepare sila ang pre-prepare ng 5 years business plan for each LEE and then What's next then? Then they have to present it to the local chief executive 
what is the uh, uh, business plan for HLEE. So after then, we have to proceed to our chapter or what we call our figure 5 in which uh, figure 5 is very important because this is the process flow diagram of what? Of budgeting LEE. Dito ngayon. Dito ngayon magkakatalo yung tinatawag natin na budgeting. Saan siya mag-start? Because we have to presume or assume that there are two things for the LEE, right? We have the existing LEE and the new LEE. Pag sa new, uh, existing LEE, pre-budget preparation, ibig sabihin, there is already what we call include LEE in the AIP. What is AIP? So, annual investment plan. So, ibig sabihin, kasali na siya sa budgeting. Nandun na siya, nakaakibat na siya doon. But, if we go to the new LEE, prepare budget preparation. No, in which including, so kasalan, dito na naman tayo magsasabi na prepare budget preparation. No? Ibig sabihin, include LEE, saan? Use finding for appended FS, feasibility study, and then business proposal. No? To support what? To support budget suggested to new LEE. No? And then afterwards, baba siya ngayon, dito yung papasok yung tinatawag natin na budget preparation. So with regards to budget preparation, ito ang madugo. No? Bakit madugo? Kasi, first, include the budget call of what? General fund annual budget the specific guidelines for preparation of LEE. See? Dapat included siya. And then afterwards, may number 2 dyan. Prepare and submit LEE. Then, conduct budget hearing and evaluate LEE. I-evaluate na yun. Fourth, include LEE, AOB, in the LEP. Local Investment Plan. No? That will submit to the LCE. So, isasubmit siya ngayon sa LCE. And then, submit the LEE AOP to local sanggunian. After then, pag natapos na yan, anong susunod? Anong susunod natin? Susunod ngayon yung tinatawag natin sa baba, which is what we call our budget authorization. With regards to our budget authorization, dito papasok yung INA. What is that? INA Appropriate Ordinance. Di ba yung sabi natin yesterday na yung, yung proposal natin is dadaan ngayon sa Sangguyan Bayan or the SB? Kasi gagawa ng ordinansa. Di ba? So afterwards, approve the appropriation ordinance for LEE. Ina-approve na ngayon. Pag na-approve na ngayon, anong susunod? Submit what? Appropriation Ordinance for Review. I-re-review -re for second reading. Then afterwards, Budget Review. I-re-review -re ngayon si Budget. Anong susunod? Check the Appropriation Ordinance with what? The Appended Budget Documents. So, dapat may attachment na ng mga documents. Bakit? Kasi review the appropriate ordinances. Ito ngayon ang susunod, yung tinatawag natin budget execution. From the word execution, anong ibig sabihin? Execute. Ikakandak, ipiperform, gagawin. That is why, first thing na sabi nila is, they have to what? Record the approved appropriation in LEE Book of Accounts. Dito ngayon, may ledger na, may libro na. And then, prepared cash and summary of finance and physical performance target using prescribed form in the BOM. So, dito pwede na 
na ikaw lang maggawa-gawa. And then, there is this obligates and this burst fund. Because gagasto na. Lalabas na ng pera. And then, you have the adjust cash program for shortage and overages. Para may backup. Is kulang ang pera. So, may, may backup ka. And then, provide what? Corrective measures and negative divisions. Then, the last one is what? Budget accountability. What is budget accountability? Ano ibig sabihin ng budget accountability? First, dito papasok yung tinatawag na what? Monitor income and expenses. Di ba? Let's go back to the basic again that LE is for income and revenue. And then prepare and submit what? Physical and financial report to the LCE and local sanggunian. Through what? Local Finance Committee. Dito ngayon papasok si Local Finance Committee. Diba? That is why you have the investment code. No? Lumalabas ng ganon. And then we have to conduct the SFSSR for each LEEs. And then present the report to the local chief executive and local sanggunian. See? That is just for the, the figure file which is very important, the process flow. Diba? So that is why we have to be very careful because the, the uh, what do you call this one, the uh, LEE is not just about LEE. They are very focusing and sensitive with the income and revenue for the local government unit. So, meron pa tayong tinatawag ngayon na a figure six. So, ano yun? So, let's continue. Okay. Okay then. So, we are finished with our figure 5, which is um, one of the most very tedious, no? Na kung tinan natin, akala natin ng LEE natin is very basic. Pero, dun, binakita sa sa diagram that, or sa flowchart that LEE is really uh, into revenue and income. No? The, because, also, in the first place, that our local government unit invest. Now, there is an investment that is being uh, conducted or being given into the project. Therefore, they're also expecting for a return of investment. That is why if we look at this figure 6, which is the process flow diagram of uh, reviewing and, uh, and assessing LEE, now, there are two things here, the green and the violet. The green... No, finance self-sufficient is achieved. Ibig sabihin, finance, sila na mismo ang nagbubuhay sa kanilang LEE. Then, continue LE operation, continue to prepare the SAFF, uh, SSR report, then present it to the uh, LCE and the uh, board as well. But, if your finance self-sufficiency is not achieved, you have to have these three criteria. First, Conduct facility utilization audit. Second, conduct facility cost audit. Third, use as result of audit and check if all three conditions or of continued for continued LA operation are present. So, merong dalawa na kababa dito. If you look at if all three conditions for continued LA operation are present, no? If not, if not all three conditions, then recommend for exit strategy. Tapos. But, if all three conditions for continued LEA operation are present, then you have to perform this five. Prepare five years business plan. Yung sabi natin. Pero, including sustainability strategies. Second, Prepare, submit, and present audit report. What's the number five? Ah, uh, number three. Continue LA operation. Number four, implement a five years business plan. And the number five, continue what? Continue prepared SFSSR report. Then you go up and you continue. That is why the final question here, or the second question here would be, 
in times of pandemic, what would be the best LEE that you could propose to your local government unit? But before that, I'll be showing you after this uh, figure 6, I'll be showing you uh, the entire appendices that you could use while you are doing the, the local uh, economic enterprise. No. At the same time, after this figure 6, there is this figure 7, the overall flow of the existing and the new. No. But actually, in general, that is what I'm discussing is already the overall. Okay? So, let's, let me go back. No. What would be the best? No. So, create your own best LEE in terms of pandemic using, using what? the appendices that I'll be showing after this figure six. So try to explore, try to think, and let's see what could you <clears throat> create or <clears throat> what LEE would you think is best for you in this pandemic time. So thank you for viewing despite the, the view, uh, the, the, the time is quite plenty, but this is already the entire summary of the manual of our uh, manual for local economic enterprise so hope you learned something uh, bye everyone be safe and have a pleasant day god bless everyone